We're about to fly over Savo at 300 feet. We'll give you an idea of just how it looks like and feels like to observe and count the animals from up there. It's a beautiful landscape, but a daunting task even with a plane. The last time they did this, three years ago, the team counted more than 11,000 elephants here and almost 6,000 buffalo, close to 3,000 giraffe too. They're likely to be fewer this time. There has been uh, a prolonged drought from last year. That drought, its manifestation in the wild rabbit is that we have seen a couple of, um, a couple of mortalities. We've also seen uh, arising incidences of uh, livestock incursion. And this is again related to the same drought. Savo is larger than several African countries combined. And the mission also extends into Tanzania. So counting the animals takes time and money and skill. Presently we have eight aircraft on this count. And um, the area is roughly about 46,000 square kilometers to allocated blocks. And we fly a 600 square kilometer area on one kilometer lines. The two-week census is costing around 200,000 US dollars. Several charities have helped the government raise that money. Has contributed equivalent to 20,000 US dollars towards the census. That is for procurement of equipments, the cameras, the GPS enabled cameras, and also the global positioning system, that is the GPS, um, and also on kind contribution. AWF has contributed time of their staff, six of them, and also a bus to ferry participants. Officials are hoping to take the census to other parks across Kenya. They say it will provide information vital to conservation efforts and help keep this landscape alive for generations to come. Sony Methu, CGTN, Savo East, Kenya.